everybody, this is BJ, and welcome to my Nitpick series, where I go over each of the characters that currently exist in Super Smash Bros. and share some personal ideas that I have about what I would do to change or improve their current moveset. Before we get started on the two Smashers of today's episode, I would first like to share a couple of ideas that you guys shared with me over previous characters that I've gone over. Or, in this case, a previous character. I'm only going to share the viewer ideas that I personally really liked, nothing else, so if you don't hear me bring up an idea, even the very common ones that a ton of people suggested, then sorry, but I simply didn't like it enough to want to talk about it here. And the character whose viewer ideas I'd like to share are for Yoshi, the first of which was shared with me by the user Embodiment of the Middle Ground Nowhere Edition. They suggested that when Yoshi traps opponents in eggs with his neutral special, that he should be able to pick up and throw those egged opponents. That sounds like a fun idea, giving even more versatility options for Yoshi. And I can see a lot of chaos emerging from this in free-for-alls where you could literally throw opponents at each other. The other idea for Yoshi that I liked was from the user DJ Cookie Crisp. A fitting name considering what they suggested. They said that Yoshi should have cookies somewhere in his moveset, whether for a taunt or a victory animation. And I highly agree. Yoshi loves cookies! Heck, one of Yoshi's first solo titles was literally called Yoshi's Cookie. So I agree that Yoshi should definitely be eating cookies somewhere. Fruit could potentially work too, but I like cookies more. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into this video's characters, starting with fighter number 8 in Smash, but is number 25 in the Pokédex, Pikachu! Pikachu is an interesting topic, because it is one of the few characters across all of the Smash games who is often considered as consistently good, if not one of the strongest. But I care little about how a character performs currently. I'm more interested in if a character's current moveset represents them well. And I am a believer that any moveset can be viable if balanced appropriately. Even if my ideas would change or ruin a character's current competitive sets, that doesn't mean that new just as competitive sets can't be made from the new changes. So when looking at Pikachu, the first Smash character mainly to come from an RPG style of game at the time, Pikachu's moveset was designed with the concept of how you would use it in said RPGs. Pikachu's stats in Pokémon tailored it to being a speedy character, but it can't necessarily hit that hard unless it uses stronger attacks. As such, Pikachu in Smash is one of the most nimble characters with a great combo game, able to pepper opponents with small amounts of damage that rack up very quickly, then end things off with a strong finishing blow. This is reflected in its first three Smash 64 special attacks. Thunder Jolt, which is great for playing a neutral game, Quick Attack, one of the best recovery options in the game that allows Pikachu to move around the stage quickly to pull off some unsuspecting fainting maneuvers. And then there's Thunder, a less accurate but very powerful strike that's great for getting KOs. But then Melee came out, the game that granted every character a brand new side special. And what did they give to Pikachu? Skull Bash. That choice always confused me. Skull Bash is a move that Pikachu's only been able to learn at one point in its history, via TM in the original Gen 1 Game Boy games. Now I get that back then the move pools for Pokémon were a lot more shallow than they are today, so there really wasn't too much else to work with, but really? Skull Bash? Sure, it could learn it, but it's not exactly one of the first moves I would jump to when training a Pikachu, or even a Raichu for that matter. Out of all of Pikachu's kit, Skull Bash is by far the least utilized, both in Pokémon and in Smash. I hardly ever see it be used offensively. It's way too slow and it leaves Pikachu open, which completely contradicts the rest of Pikachu's moveset. Skull Bash is way too risky with not enough reward, and it just doesn't make sense as a move that you'd think to give to Pikachu. So what can be given to Pikachu as a new side special that can not only add to it both gameplay-wise and thematically, but won't turn it into more of an Arceus than it already is? I don't mind it having a horizontal tackling attack like what Skull Bash is, because that at least does give it a second horizontal recovery option, but I'd rather it be a move that's more fitting to Pikachu, one that isn't so slow, and can be used for better rushdown potential. If we stick to the tackle idea, two moves come to mind. Spark, and the move that's currently its final smash, Volt Tackle. 
Either could very easily just be simple quick dash tackle moves while Pikachu is covered in electricity. They could even launch foes on contact like what Skull Bash does. No charge up is necessary either, just tap and dash. Yeah, it loses the range, but it doesn't really need it. And to make up for it being faster, it would be weaker than Skull Bash, but that's fine. Pikachu is all about weakening its opponents first with a barrage of weak attacks anyway. And at the very least, I can see this version being a lot more utilized than it is now. I realize that was kind of a meaty explanation to make a point that effectively amounted to make Skull Bash faster and change the name, but this is Pokemon and I'm passionate about that. And you know what? While we're at it, let's look at Quick Attack as well. Sure, that's a move that Pikachu's known for, but let's go the extra mile and make all of its specials electric type attacks. Instead of Quick Attack, let's give it the hilariously named Zippy Zap. It's literally just electric type Quick Attack, that's it. It wouldn't change anything. The up special would be the exact same as before, but now it's Zippy Zap. Now, the last thing I want to go over for Pikachu, I brought up before how the side special could potentially be replaced with Volt Tackle. If that were the case, what would happen with Pikachu's final smash? I am in the mindset that Volt Tackle is kind of an outdated final smash. It was the big thing back then when Volt Tackle was revered as Pikachu's big and special signature attack, but it kind of just isn't anymore. Yes, it's still only usable by Pikachu's line, but it just isn't special anymore. Heck, even the anime dropped it. Plus, Pikachu now has a lot of flashy and more powerful looking attacks that could easily replace it as a final smash. I'm of course talking about its Z-moves or even its Gigantamax form. I could see 10 million volt Thunderbolt or G-Max Volt Crash being very epic final smashes, though that does admittedly only put a band-aid on the problem more than it does fix it, since just like with Volt Tackle, the Z-Moves and Gigantamax forms will also become outdated at some point, heck the Z-Moves pretty much already have. But I also see this as something that Pikachu could take advantage of. Just like Pokemon, it could evolve as Smash games progress, with its final Smash being whatever is its most recent superpower move at that time. Cause let's be real here, with every new gimmick they introduce in the Pokemon games, Pikachu will always get a piece of that pie, leaving it with no shortage of potential final Smashes. Alrighty, with Pikachu done, let's jump into the other character that I'd like to cover in this video. Fighter number 9, whose letter is the 12th in the alphabet, the eternal understudy, Luigi! Luigi is literally designed to be the Player 2 character, an alternative to Mario, so that's why they play so much alike. But over time, more of Luigi's personality was incorporated. He still plays like Mario, but he's a lot more awkward due to his cowardice, insecurities, as well as other weird gimmicks that he's gotten over time like the scuttle jump or his lack of traction. So whereas Mario's gimmick is being the most balanced character in the roster, Luigi's is being Mario, but quirky. And as such, there are some changes that I gave to Mario that I'd also like to apply to Luigi for similar reasons. Changing his down special into a type of up air, make his current down air a stopping attack, and maybe also move his up special to his up smash. It can even keep that killer sweet spot. I gave my reasonings for these changes when I went over Mario, but to quickly summarize, the tornado attack feels better as a normal aerial attack, the power jump feels better as an up smash, and the Mario Bros should have a stomp since jumping on enemies is their main form of combat in the Mario games. Now there's the question of what to replace the up and down specials with. Well, the down special's easy. Just like how Mario uses Flood for his down special, have Luigi use his Poltergust. Aside from his final smash, which I'll get to later, you don't really get to utilize the actual vacuum function of his vacuum, only a plunger for the grab. So I'd say for this down special, why can't it work something akin to King K Rule's neutral special? Well, specifically the vacuum portion of it. He could suck up opponents in front of himself, then spit them out either forward, backward, or upward. On top of that, let it also vacuum up and spit out projectiles and items. Turn it into a defensive option, perfect for the more cowardly and defensive brother. Now there's the topic of his up special. I'd rather not turn to Mario for this one since I want Mario to have the wing cap and that doesn't really fit Luigi. He's never really used it. If we look at power-ups that Luigi has used before, we have a few options like the Propeller Mushroom, the Tanuki Leaf, iconic ones like that. Though, if we wanted to keep things modern and specific to Luigi, he could also use the burst function of his Poltergust from Luigi's Mansion 3, which shoots him up into the air while also blowing other players away. Again, more of a defensive option. 
I personally do like the burst idea more, but really any of those could work. And then there's the final smash, which I do personally think is kinda weak as is, and would just feel redundant if the down special became the Poltergust as I described it. It isn't really that big of a deal, it could stay the same, but I mainly say that because I'm honestly not too sure on what I'd replace it with. I do like the negative zone, but not really enough to want it to be brought back. He could easily have some of the same power-up options that I suggested for Mario, like the Starman or the Mega Mushroom. There are plenty of choices, just so long as whatever he does get is different from Mario's. I am a believer that all Final Smashes should be different in some way, even if they're just subtle differences. With that said, that does it for What If Pikachu and Luigi Were Nitpicked. If you guys have any ideas for Pikachu, Luigi, or any of the other prior characters that I've covered, please share them with me in the comments. And if any of you share something that I really like, I'll be more than happy to share those ideas in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed what you saw and would like to see even more of my work, be sure to subscribe! And if you want to support the channel and help me be able to make more content for you guys, you can click the join button either below the video, the one on my main page, or the link in the description to become a sponsor for my channel. Doing so will get you access to my Discord server, as well as channel emotes. You can guarantee that your name appears in my videos, or you can get the option of knowing what What If characters to get a moveset concept for Super Smash Bros. or Pokemon Unite are coming up next a week in advance. I really appreciate anything that can be contributed. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and Thank you so much for watching!